Do you remember the joy of flipping through a thick phone book to find the number of your favorite local restaurant? Or the excitement in a child's eyes as they placed an order over the family's landline phone? Hi, yes, I'd like to order a large pizza. And let's not forget Pizza Hut's famous Book It program, rewarding kids with free pizzas for reading books, an initiative that started back in 1984. Those days were filled with anticipation, human interaction, and a tangible connection to food. There were no apps, no online reviews, no instant gratification. Ordering food was a ritual, a family affair. Remember when going to a fast food restaurant was a treat? Walking into McDonald's and staring at the bright menu above the counter, smelling the fries, hearing the sizzle of the burgers on the grill. We were connected to our food in a way that's hard to explain today. It wasn't just sustenance. It was an experience, a celebration. Family dinners weren't just about eating. They were about togetherness, laughter, and connection. Companies like Pizza Hut recognized the potential early on. In 1994, they made history by accepting the first ever online food order. A customer in Santa Cruz, California placed an order for a large pepperoni, mushroom and extra cheese pizza, and the world of food was never the same again. The journey from dial-up connections to 5G hasn't just changed how we order food, it's changed how we think about food. The online revolution didn't just offer convenience, it opened a whole new culinary world. And then, everything changed. The digital revolution was about to take the world by storm, and nothing would ever be the same. With the dawn of the internet, our lives began to change in ways we could never have imagined. No more phone books, we had online directories. In 2000, the launch of Zomato marked another significant milestone. It began as a simple restaurant directory listing website providing menus and reviews. Fast forward to today, and Zomato is a global giant, connecting millions of hungry souls to thousands of restaurants. Zomato's restaurant listing in 2008 was a game changer. But that was just the beginning. A real revolution began with the rise of apps like Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, and others in the early 2010s. Suddenly, our favorite restaurants were at our fingertips. No more waiting on hold, no more misunderstandings over the phone. Just a few taps and a hot meal will be on its way. Discounts and offers started to flow like never before. Why cook when you can get a gourmet meal for half the price? Offers were flowing like tap water, luring customers like never before. Subscription models, loyalty programs, referral bonuses, everything to keep you hooked. Customers were lured in with attractive offers, special deals and loyalty programs. It wasn't just about buying food, it was about winning a culinary lottery. Who could resist a 50% off on their favorite burger or a buy one get one free pizza on a weekend, right? Discounts didn't just attract customers, they created habits, rituals, traditions. Friday night became pizza night and Sunday brunch turned into a food delivery extravaganza. Venture Capital got involved too, recognizing the massive potential. Did you know that in 2015, food delivery startups raised $5.7 billion globally? Silicon Valley was betting big on this new frontier. This period also saw the emergence of new verticals like grocery delivery, Instacart, and meal kit services, Blue Apron. Expansion into international markets took place with large investments in companies like Swiggy and Zomato in India and Meituan Dianping in China. Investors recognized the global appeal of food delivery services, leading to increased competition and collaboration across regions. The industry began focusing more on sustainability, healthy eating, and innovative food solutions. Investment in startups working on alternative proteins, smart kitchen appliances, and food waste reduction technologies became more prevalent. Cloud kitchens and AI-driven personalizations also attracted VC attention. Why was this a revolution? Because it wasn't just about convenience. It was about reshaping the entire food industry. Restaurants no longer needed to rely on foot traffic. They could reach customers far and wide. New culinary talents emerged, working out of cloud kitchens, free from the constraints of traditional brick-and-mortar locations. This was not just about food. It was a tech-driven obsession, changing how we eat, how we connect, and how we live. The wave of online food ordering didn't just wash over customers. It stormed the very shores of the restaurant business, leaving a transformed landscape in its wake. Small businesses had to adapt, learn, and grow. Suddenly, a mom-and-pop diner could reach customers miles away, and not just those in the neighborhood. 
Tucked away in a narrow alley can now reach a city's worth of hungry customers. Imagine a family-owned pizzeria, crafting pies with recipes passed down through generations. Before, their audience was limited to the neighborhood. But with the advent of food delivery apps, they have become local legends. Their flavors savored by people miles away. For some restaurants, these apps have been a lifeline. During the pandemic, when dining rooms were shuttered, delivery became a vital channel to keep the business alive. The National Restaurant Association reported that 62% of restaurant dinners were takeout or delivery in April 2020, a significant jump from the previous years. According to a report by Statista, the global online food delivery market was valued at approximately $136.4 billion in 2020 and is expected to grow to $182.3 billion by 2024. This growth has been a beacon of hope for many restaurants, especially small and independent ones. But perhaps the most heartwarming aspect is the connections these apps foster. They bridge the gap between the culinary artist and the food lover, turning a meal into an experience that transcends physical boundaries. The joy of discovering a hidden gem, a new cuisine, or simply enjoying a favorite dish in the comfort of home has become a shared celebration of food. From fancy restaurants offering delivery for the first time to food trucks going virtual, the whole food industry felt the ripple effect. And it wasn't just about selling more food, it was about creating new experiences with supporting local restaurants too. But not all changes were savory. Some restaurants struggled to keep up, unable to manage the costs and logistics of online delivery. The very thing that brought opportunity also brought competition, challenges, and for some, a bitter taste of failure. We'll talk about this too in a minute. Now, let's talk about you and me, the customers. From waiting on hold, listening to crackly music, to swiping through colorful pictures of dishes, complete with reviews, ratings, and mouthwatering descriptions. Many of these platforms used advanced algorithms to take recommendations based on our previous orders and preferences. This personal touch creates a connection with the customer, making the experience feel customized and unique. Also, through reviews, ratings, and social sharing, these apps have fostered a community of food enthusiasts. Engaging with others and sharing experiences has made ordering food an interactive and social activity. From street food to gourmet dishes, everything became accessible with a few taps. Home chefs started to collaborate with platforms, and famous chefs began to host virtual cooking classes. Food blogs, YouTube channels, and Instagram food influencers became a vital part of the culinary landscape. A new generation of food lovers was born, exploring, sharing, and celebrating the universal love for food. This is more than just ordering food. This is the culinary journey, the exploration of flavors, the connection with fellow food lovers. The way we interact with food has transformed into something extraordinary, something revolutionary. Of course, revolutions are never without their bumps and bruises. The road to food delivery glory has been paved with controversies and challenges. Food tech startups haven't been popular for being a smooth ride. With the boom in food delivery came new challenges and controversies, particularly for those delivering the food. There's a dark side to this modern convenience. Customer returns. In a traditional restaurant setting, dissatisfied customers could speak directly with the staff, providing instant feedback. But in the virtual world of app-based ordering, that human connection is severed. Restaurants are left to decipher impersonal comments and ratings. Imagine a bustling kitchen where chefs prepare a carefully crafted dish, only to have it returned untouched deemed unsatisfactory by a distant customer. It's a perplexing and disheartening experience for many restaurant managers. Returns are often shrouded in mystery. Was the food cold? Was it not up to expectations? These questions haunt the restaurant owners who are often left in the dark. The app may provide some feedback, but it's often vague or generic, leaving the restaurant to guess what went wrong. Worse still, returns can be financially painful. In many cases, the restaurant bears the cost both of the food that was prepared and the refund of the customer. A report by the New York Times in 2019 highlighted this very concern, illustrating how returns and complaints can eat into the narrow margins of restaurants. The saddest part might be the way this system can be abused. Instances of fraudulent returns where customers falsely claim an issue to get a refund or a free meal further darken the cloud over the industry. 
Restaurants, especially small ones, are often helpless against such practices. Caught in a mysterious game where the rules are unclear and the stakes are high. There's more. Gig economy workers found themselves in a precarious position, often working long hours without guaranteed pay or benefits. Some cities saw protests and demands for fair wages and better working conditions. Imagine a driver navigating the maze-like streets, always guided by an app, but never really knowing where the next turn will lead. There's no boss to talk to, no co-workers to share a laugh with, only the unending road and a series of faceless passengers. The company at times abandon these riders and don't provide solutions to them. This is the story of many riders. A report by The Guardian in 2017 titled When Your Boss is an Algorithm painted a stark picture of this reality. It unveils stories of workers toiling for hours only to find their earnings mysteriously reduced, their appeals unheard, their frustrations growing. Remember the debate over gig economy workers? The drivers, the riders, the people who bring our food hot and ready, the struggles for fair wages, the protests, the demands for recognition and respect. And then there were the legal battles, like the $2.5 million settlement Grubhub faced in 2017 over the misclassification of workers, or the countless disputes over customer returns, payment issues, and safety standards. Lawsuits and regulations followed, with countries like the UK reclassifying Uber drivers as workers, entitled to minimum wages and other benefits. Remember the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, when the very idea of someone touching our food became terrifying? The industry had to adapt overnight, with contactless delivery, hygiene ratings, and safety measures. It wasn't all smooth sailing. There were failures, setbacks, lessons learned. But through it all, the industry grew, evolved, matured. Challenges were met with innovation, problems with solutions, controversies with conversations. It wasn't perfect but it was progress. Food delivery gig workers know that they are easily replaced. A low rating, a missed delivery, and they can find themselves adrift, cut off from their source of income with little explanation or recourse. The loneliness can be the hardest part. Meals eaten in the car, hours spent waiting for the next ping, the constant pressure to perform. It's a solitary existence, devoid of the recognition that workplaces often provide. Companies like Zomato set up high targets for their delivery partners with an illusion to provide gifts like cars, bikes, if they meet these unrealistic targets. Many movies and documentaries also highlight the sad reality. With growth came growing pains. Issues like incorrect orders, delayed deliveries, and customer dissatisfaction started to emerge. The ease of ordering also led to an increase in returns and cancellations, raising questions about waste and ethics. Restaurants struggled with losses and platforms had to find a balance between customer satisfaction and fair practices. Some countries even introduced laws to curb food waste from online orders, adding a new layer of complexity to the online food ordering ecosystem. Now, let's dive into something truly fascinating, artificial intelligence. AI started playing a key role, analyzing our preferences, predicting our cravings, personalizing our culinary journey. Imagine an app that not only knows your favorite sushi, but also suggests a new Japanese place that just opened around the corner. And what about those personalized recommendations? Ever wondered how the app knows exactly what you crave? That's AI working its magic. Learning your tastes, predicting your cravings, making you feel seen, understood, and yes, hungry. Augmented reality took it a step further. Imagine being able to see your dish in 3D before placing an order, or attending a virtual food festival from your living room. Artificial intelligence is the invisible chef in your kitchen, cooking up recommendations, personalizing your menus, crafting your food adventures. Ever wondered how the app knows you might like the new Thai place? That's AI, learning from your choices, your ratings, your behavior. AI isn't just about suggestions, it's about keeping you inside the app, engaged and entertained, and yes, hungry for more. From chatbots taking your orders to algorithms predicting your next craving, AI is weaving its way into our culinary lives. It's a brave new world where technology doesn't just serve food, 
It understands it, enhances it, and makes it a part of our digital existence. The fusion of technology and taste, bites and bites, is something extraordinary, something that's still unfolding. Celebrities haven't just endorsed these services, they've become part of the experience. Travis Scott's collaboration with McDonald's, offered through Uber Eats, turned a meal into a sensation. Fans didn't just eat, they feasted on a cultural phenomenon. Kim Kardashian, known for her social media prowess, once tweeted about her love for Uber Eats, making headlines and putting a human touch to her glamorous image. But it's not all about indulging cravings. Some celebrities have seen the potential in the food delivery market and invested in it. Notably, Leonardo DiCaprio, a prominent environmental activist, invested in Beyond Meat, a company that offers plant-based meat substitutes available on various food delivery platforms. His involvement adds a layer of intrigue, aligning star power with a broader mission of sustainability. But perhaps the most heartwarming chapter in this tale is how food delivery apps have become symbols of human connection. The internet loves a good heartwarming story after all. In 2020, a delivery driver in Denver was brought to tears when a customer tipped him $100 on a pizza delivery. The customer, knowing the challenges faced by gig workers, wanted to make a difference and his generosity became a viral story that touched many hearts. In another inspiring story, an Indian restaurant and its delivery partner teamed up to provide free meals to healthcare workers during the COVID-19 crisis. The collaboration was celebrated across social media and became a symbol of hope and community spirit. And what's a revolution without its heroes? In the world of online food ordering, we've had many. Who can forget when Domino's introduced the pizza tracker, allowing us to follow our pizza's journey from the oven to our door? It wasn't just food delivery, it was entertainment. Many interesting campaigns also came into the picture that made customers feel like a part of something big. It eventually increased more revenue for the businesses. DoorDash's campaign with Sesame Street characters was not just an ad, it was a poignant reflection of the longing for normalcy during the pandemic. DoorDash saw an increase in revenue of 198% in the year 2020. But beneath the mysterious reality of a world where even the joy of dining out turned virtual. In India, Swiggy's campaign reassured customers that no order was too small. It's a warm message, yet there's a sad undertone in recognizing that even the simplest meals are now part of a vast and impersonal system. Just Eats, did somebody say, just eat? Jingle that became an instant earworm. Did somebody say, just eat? Pop cultures embraced the food delivery revolution and it found its way into our songs, our shows, our memes, and our hearts. They also sparked creativity, innovation, collaboration. Remember when Burger King and Uber Eats teamed up to offer a Whopper detour? Directing customers away from McDonald's. That's not just marketing, that's art. Even more compelling is the way some celebrities have leveraged their fame to impact the industry itself. Chrissy Teigen, a model, author, and known food enthusiast, once expressed her frustration with food delivery apps over service fees, sparking a conversation about pricing transparency. Has ruined the food industry. Absolutely. Now hold on to your forks and knives, because we're about to explore the future of food ordering. A future where food doesn't just arrive at your door, it flies. Yes, you heard that right. Domino's is testing drone delivery taking to the skies to bring you your favorite pie. Imagine looking out your window and seeing a flying pizza on its way to your doorstep. But drones are just the beginning. Think of autonomous vehicles delivering groceries, robotic chefs preparing gourmet meals, virtual reality dining experiences transporting you to a Parisian cafe from your living room. The fusion of technology, creativity, and culinary art is paving the way for a future where food is not just nourishment, but an immersive, interactive, and personalized experience. From family dinners around the TV to virtual dinner parties with friends across the globe, from home-cooked meals to AI-curated gourmet experiences, the way we eat is evolving in exciting and unpredictable ways. But that's just a taste of what's coming. The future is about sustainability, efficiency, innovation. It's about exploring new frontiers of taste, technology, and creativity. 
What about virtual restaurants, where chefs from around the world cook for you live, right on your screen? Or 3D printed desserts, crafted to your whims and wishes? The future is about breaking barriers, pushing boundaries, and exploring uncharted culinary territories. It's about redefining what it means to eat, to taste, to experience food. From the humble beginnings of dial-up orders to flying drones, from phone books to AI-driven personal chefs, we've come a long way. The journey has been exciting, challenging, delicious, and the road ahead is filled with flavors yet to be discovered. So, here we are at the end of a journey that's taken us from the nostalgic days of family dinners to the futuristic dreams of drone deliveries. We've explored the heroes and the villains, the triumphs and the challenges, the flavors and the failures. We've seen how technology has not just changed how we eat, but how we live, how we connect, how we celebrate. We've tasted the sweetness of innovation, the bitterness of controversy, the spice of creativity, and the richness of human endeavor. The world of online food ordering is not just about convenience, it's about community, connection, collaboration. It's about the dance between tradition and innovation, the fusion of taste and technology. It's a story that's still being written, a recipe that's still being cooked. It's a world that's waiting for you to explore, taste, and savor. So, next time you open that app, remember, you're not just ordering food, you're part of a revolution. You're part of history. You're part of something extraordinary. Bon appétit!